Another thing that started motivating me too, bro. I'm gonna keep it real, man. King said, King said, oh, man. He been yeah. putting on, bro. He been yeah, putting he be, on. He be showing love to you. He been showing. Yeah, he he. And he he's been, been he's going crazy himself. He been going crazy, man. Like this girl come up to me. She said, "You doing YouTube? You know, people down here don't make it in that, right?" Yeah. And me, I'm like, "What the freak?" Like tweaking, tweaking. And where do you see yourself? Because I know it's road to 300k right now, right? Yeah. yeah. We call ourselves city, but we global. And everybody that has a voice is allowed to be vocal. Now I'm really like full force on the tube. Okay. You feel me? You're, going, you're diving back in on the tube. Yeah. yeah. And we see that. You dropped, you know, you just got a gold digger prank out. Now you had to smash or pass a, yeah. a, a week ago doing your thing, man. Um, yeah. So what motivated you? Like you just felt like uh, you needed to, to, to pick up back on the YouTube. What motivated you to dive back in? To back back in the YouTube, I analyze it's like, um, it's just seeing like, it's just seeing like, what I was able to inspire and how, what I was able to inspire like seeing like what a lot of people was able to create. Yeah, you feel me? Because of what I was able to inspire, and it's just like, damn, like seeing um, um, you feel me? What really motivated me was, um. You feel me? Shout out Bank Road. Bank Road deal, man. He's like, bro, he just said 3.3 million on TikTok. Okay. You know, he from the city? Million on TikTok. And when <laughs> yeah, I say, yeah. like, what I was able to inspire, because when I blew up, it really just showed a lot of people that they YouTube do it, is yeah. easy. And he started mm -hmm. off on YouTube. You know, he started mm -hmm. off on YouTube. I'm going to keep it. I thought TikTok, you got to dance and stuff. Yeah. Do all that. I thought TikTok was a little gay. I ain't going to keep it real. Yeah, yeah. I thought the same I thought it was a little sus because of the yeah. name, because of the name. But now nah, TikTok, fine. It's like it could blow up right? a rap career, everything. Like mm -hmm. real rappers should really get on that too. But, bro, I, I seen, bro, all them boys really just taking off. A lot of individuals just taking off. Like bankroll for one. You feel me? And it's just like, damn, it's like, there's like 245,000 people like waiting for waiting me to for post. You. Yeah, you're right. But I was just like, I need to get back into it. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, it's like, it was just that. That was that FOMO, fear of missing out. You feel me? Yeah. I see individuals in my town taking off, turning up the city, putting on for Palm Beach. Mm -hmm. I got to put on for Palm Beach because yeah. that's that's really turning the city up. You feel me? Like, Broward taking off Palm yeah, Beach. Exactly. Gotta, you know, it's yeah, like, sure. yeah. Palm Beach got to make some noise for us. Like, mm -hmm. you feel me? Really? Because if we all make noise, that's putting Palm Beach on the map, and that's creating, like, a lot of opportunities for a lot of people in the city. Yeah. You feel me? So really just putting on for Palm Beach, that's what really got me back turning into it. Shout out Mark Bull. Shout out West Finesse, too. You feel me? Them boys, you feel me? This old boy, all them boys, you feel me? Them boys really got me back into it. What would yeah, you say I, that made you take the long break from YouTube? Was it you, like, learning, going towards Forex? That was the reason why? Oh, or yeah. because of COVID, you had to take a long break from YouTube? It was, it was my, it was my mental health. Mm -hmm. It was with that, really just finding myself too, you know, like getting away from just really that too, you know. I just wanted to like, I wanted to experience something different. You mm -hmm. feel me? Mm -hmm. You feel me? Cause you know, I feel like everybody have that one stage in their life where it's like, you gotta really just see what's really like, you know. It's like that stage is normally right after high school, and, and that that happens to a lot of people. Cause right after high school. You know, when you're young, you have you have a lot of aspirations or you probably have one real aspiration. You have people who want to be football players, ballers, um, dancers, all type of stuff. But when you when school, when you get out of school and you don't have those friends in your circle anymore as often. And mm -hmm. now you got to either get a job, go to college, you know, join the military, whatever the case may be. Um in your case, you um, you were fortunate enough to 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 get into understanding like um, making money work for you and and not necessarily have to work for money all all your yeah, life, yeah. and and that was a blessing in its own. But you also mentioned, um, which I'm glad you bring up, mental health, and, and that's like a thing especially for, for black people, like we don't really like get to accept that a lot. Like, you know, we just push through that. But at what point was it for you? Like, was it like, okay, I, I need to do something about it. Um, how, how, did, how did you recognize that you probably had a mental health problem at first? I wouldn't even consider it a problem, yeah. but like you need to sit down and, 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 yeah. and address yourself and, and build yourself up. 
I also, I started like paying attention to my more of my thoughts lately. Yeah. And I started getting into um I started getting into um just like I started watching broadcasts too. I ain't gonna lie, I started watching broadcasts. You know, it's like um cuz it's like I felt like that was important like I had to tap into myself cuz it was like that was something I always wanted to like pay more attention to, but I yeah. was pushed to the side. You know, I was pushed to the side. So I started watching a lot of podcasts and like um, just learning different things. And it was just like, yeah, this is really like, I got to change my thoughts. Cause once yeah. you change your thoughts, you change how you feel. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Cause I ain't gonna lie, we have the power to really do anything we want. Mm-hmm. You know, like we got the power to really do anything you want, anything we put our mind to. You know, like, you know, like we have the. Cause you come, you come from nothing to make something out of yourself, and that's really a lot of people in this yeah. world. You know, like a lot of people will see the success of other people, but don't think about their journey. Yeah, they, they're get, never going. You feel me? Yeah. So if you really think about their journey to think they got there, would you actually put in the work they did to get there? You know. So mm-hmm. it's like, so um, it was really like me paying attention to that. It was like, I right, bet, like I got to get my mind right for real, and then me getting my mind right, I started meditating more. You know, I started meditating, getting into that. Because that's really why you should meditate, because it helps you be more aware. And, you know, I feel like everything about life is about awareness. You yeah, feel 100%. me? Emotional awareness, mm-hmm. awareness. It's like once you raise your level of awareness, you're going to be you finna be more present, you know, yeah. more in the present moment, you know. Um, and, and you being in the present moment, you're going to get more work done, you know. Yeah. And it's just like... Um, so once I, once I just took the time to really just learn all that, I started... Um, when you know when X died, I really started diving into X more. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And I learned different things about him. And he talked about meditation, and me learning different things about him. I used to take, I ain't gonna, I used to like jot notes on what he said in his interviews, and then I'll search up the people he talked about, mm-hmm. and then that just showed me a whole different, you know, perspective on things. Yeah. And then that's how I really all began and stuff. And I'm, and and after that, it was just like. Yeah, like uh, I'm getting, I'm getting used to it. So yeah. now it's just like, yeah. You did some real work on yourself. Yeah. I think a lot of people say, say that loosely. Then you know when they talk about yeah. self love, when they talk about, you know, working on myself. A lot of people mm-hmm. say it, and then they walk away, and um, they kind of just sit around aim- aimlessly for a while. But I think you know it was dope that you were able to, you know, uh, research and. Uh, yeah. and, and 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 be vulnerable with yourself and, and find answers um for sure man so that's pretty dope all right so you're back on the youtube i remember ddg um I, you know like i remember because he switched from youtube to rapping yeah and um and i remember one of his um one of his vlogs he he definitely said too he was like the reason the reason why he chose music or why he loved music um, over the YouTube right now is because he gets he gets to connect with with the the people he's influencing like he gets to connect with the fans like when you have the numbers on YouTube like we talked about earlier when you were young you didn't even you didn't really you didn't really understand what you had hundred thousand yeah. subscribers those numbers they're real people sometimes is it is it like is it's hard to get that. It's hard, bro. That it'd be connection. Like, you be looking at it like, like you would look at your vid like, oh, it just hit 10k, 25k, like 50k, like. But that's like you don't sit there and really think like that's real people though, for real. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it goes by your head, for real. Like mm-hmm. that, that really goes by your head. Do you get any reaction from fans and stuff? Uh, yeah, what's yeah, like yeah, some yeah. of the reactions you've you've gotten? Yeah, most deaf. Yeah, they'll see me though. Sometimes when they see me in public though, they'll say, "What's up." But I always ask them, like, if they don't ask me, I'm like, you want to pick? Yeah, yeah. You feel me? I always ask them if you want to pick. Um, and then they'd be like, yeah. So they always they, they ask for a pick. If they don't ask, I'll ask them because they be nervous. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. feel me? And then, yeah, that's pretty dope, though. Because I ain't going to lie, though. Them, them asking for a pick, though, that 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 brightens up my mood. Yeah. Yeah, that I'm sure that's always inspiring Hell for sure, yeah. man. Hell yeah. Yeah. And, and um, how about, like, your high school, Katie? We just just gonna flash back to the high school because I've, I've been meaning to ask. You doing this in high school? You got your first million view views in in high school. Um, how was like high school for you? I mean, we saw a little, we could see a little flash of it in the vlogs, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. But 
how was it for your friends around you and just, you know, moving through the school? Like, were you inspiring your friends per se? Were people getting into YouTube as well? Um, um, I ain't gonna lie. But back in high school, before it popped out, I remember this one day, though. I remember my dog was with me also, man. It's like morning time. You know, when you first come in, people getting breakfast, you post mm -hmm. it up. This girl come up to me. She said, you doing YouTube. You know, people down here don't make it in there, right? Yeah. And me, I'm like, what the freak? Like, tweaking. Tweaking. I'm yeah. like, keep moving. Like, you feel me? And and that really, that too motivated me to really just go harder. Because after a couple months, I'd be laughing with me in the classroom. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, is you serious? Yeah, <laughs> like, like you didn't just, you yeah. You feel me? But, so it was just really just like, man, it brought out a lot of fake individuals. I ain't going to mm -hmm. lie. You know, it was like, it was really like hard to really just see like, is that person really like F you for real? It's like, or is that, yeah. you know, that's where it was just like, that messes up with your me mental illness, yeah. man. I, the, the mental health, mental, I said mental illness, mental mm -hmm. health, that mess with your mental health. Cause it's like, you know, like having all that pressure on you too. But it was really dope though. I ain't gonna lie. Having that, it was like, it was dope. I ain't gonna lie. Cause everything really started taking off. Um. But when it, when it, when that all really started popping off, having I ain't, people started saying I, I bought subscribers, I bought wow, views. Yeah. Some people started saying I bought views. Yeah. It was just crazy. Y I remember I was like in the auditorium. I'm in the auditorium. I'm seeing I'm at I'm at 20k. Mm -hmm. Five minutes, ten minutes, thirty minutes later, I'm seeing I'm at 25k. And it's just yeah. like I'm showing. I'm like, they're like, whoa, that shit crazy, that shit crazy. Some people say I was buying them, like, nah, yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. I ain't buying Dang, shit. Hey, they can't believe it, they can't believe <laughs> they it. They can't believe it. I, I yeah. couldn't believe it too, though. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I was like, that shit was crazy, like, that shit was crazy. Um, so, um. It's projection, man. Yeah, yeah, so that shit was taking out, that shit was dope, though, because I'm going to, after after a couple vids at school, the school shut me down. Yeah, I remember it, yeah. It, they said I couldn't do vids because cause of the revenue, because I was making money. Oh, that's why it was. Yeah. Because I, I think you, you you made a video. You made a video explaining um, that they said you couldn't uh, do vids in the school anymore because of, I guess, because of privacy reasons. Mm -hmm. Like people walking by the camera. But it was yeah, it was yeah. because you were making... The revenue, yeah. yeah. It was capping. Because some schools allowed it. There's other yeah. schools was allowing it. So yeah. why was that a problem? Uh, the the videos like why why was making money in in high school? Um, I don't know. I don't. I ain't really going to depth. But the next year after that, a couple years later though, like not like the next year, I started doing it again. They was not mm -hmm. even tripping. Yeah. So I know it was just probably like I don't know. There was just there was I don't know what there was on. It was just trying to stop you, man. Yeah. So then I started doing mob public interviews. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna. I ain't go to boy mob because I ain't gonna. Lie, I was a little dead though. I ain't gonna lie. Boy, my was dead. Yeah, I, I tend to go there. It was dead, bro. I was like, dead. What? Boy, my was dead. No, yeah, boy, and be dead. I don't think I've ever seen boy. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen him do anything over there. Um, so you was, I, I think you was mainly like, uh, well, like Wellington Mall. Yeah, I was in Wellington Mall. I started in Wellington Mall. I started doing it there. Um, I was posting vids there. They was effing with it, so I kept on going. Yeah, but now you can't even record a vid there, Ben. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't record it. Yeah, they banned. Yeah, they gonna banned kick. It. Yeah, I haven't been there. Yeah, I'm banned there from now right now. Me and Mark both shooting a vid like Christmas, Christmas. They banned us for a whole year. They told us to stop recording. We'll still record it. Yeah, and then you go. Why do you do, why you don't do? Have you, have you done something at the Palm Beach outlets or maybe yeah, like outlets yeah. be dead too though. Yeah, outlets that's be great. dead. Yeah, that's good. It'd yeah. be a lot of people there, but they'd be dead at the same time. Tight John. Yeah. 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 Okay, maybe Boca. Boca be dead too, huh? Boca be, Boca be yeah, Boca be dead that too. And, and the people there, I'm gonna keep it. The, the white people there be looking at you some type of way though. I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, there. no fact. Yeah, that's like, the thing with Boca though. That's the thing with Boca though over there though. Yeah, keep it real. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. So, so you think? Are you? Do you think the content is better suited somewhere else, like my like Miami or? I've been telling them all. Tight job. I'll say if you're a high schooler right now, man, run up in public interviews in high school because that's really that's for the now you got leverage that other people don't too. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I say don't 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 mut the viz though on some freaky freaky. That's when your school finna shut you down. You gonna get to tweaking, yeah. yeah. Cause I'm asking jits, would you suck dick? So, yeah. You know, they like, <laughs> <laughs> they sorry, they yeah. like hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, that's probably the reason why they stop making you. you Whoa, know, no, what? Nah, this kind of control. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm looking too, but I'm like, yeah, he he in high school too. It ain't like, it ain't like he ain't the same age type shit. Uh, but. Yeah. 
Man. Okay, man. So what's ultimately like, what do you think, what's your short-term goal with the YouTube this year you diving back into it? Like what kind of work are you trying to put in? Where do you see yourself? Because I know it's road to 300K right now, right? Yeah, yeah. Road to 300K. Road to 300K. Because, uh, bro, with YouTube too, like, when you when you stay consistent, like, you will have a goal. Like, like back before, I like, my goal was like 1,000 subs before the end of the year. Yeah. And I had hit 100K before, like, 100, like, 70 before the end of the year, like, 150 mm. some before the end of the year. So I'll say you have a goal, but, like, but sometimes your goals reach beyond your expectations. I'm yeah. gonna keep it a buck because that's how it happens. So, um, really, I'm just focused on my short term right now is 300k. Yeah, short term 300k. Um, we aim it. We aim it for at least, at least, at least the goal is a milli by the end of this year. You know, a milli by the end of this year. You can do it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, cause like I said with you two, you could be consistent, be consistent. Then out of nowhere, you just Everything just start start blowing up. Mm-hmm. Everything start blowing up. Yeah, because I see like man, you you well and in, in, endowed in that community, um, in the YouTube community. I see some some YouTubers that I've I've watched follow you as well. So do you get any motivation from from your peers like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real. With another thing that started motivating me too, bro. I'm gonna keep it real, man. King said, King said, oh, man. He been yeah. putting on, bro. He been yeah, putting he be, on. He be showing love to you. He been showing. Yeah, he he. And he he's been, been he's going crazy himself. He been going crazy, man. Like, man. I remember when that boy started. I remember when it was bashing him, like, for, for messing with that Vietnam. Yeah. Too. <laughs> Yo, that bro, Vietnam. that do something to your mental mm-hmm. health, bro. I'm telling no. you, bro, all that do something to your me- mental health, bro. That's good, though. At your age, though, you know what mental health is, you know, exactly the route to take to, you know, deal with it. Yeah. Most people, when they think about self-love, they're talking about going to the club. Yeah, you know, doing all that extra shit. It's more deeper than that. It's more deep. Yeah. So I mean, he had took a break. Then look, he came back mm-hmm. snapping. Came back mm-hmm. on. Oh, you yeah. feel me? So he's one one dude that really motivated me. I'm gonna keep it. He posted that, bro. He made like 150 k mm-hmm. like in the, the month of June. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, bro, that's really putting motivation to other people. Like, not really like this. It's money motivation. This but just showing you, like, bro, he's making vids that he love, mm-hmm. and look mm-hmm. how him doing what he love. You know how he's yeah. able to retire him and his fam, his his fam. You know, yeah, so that's that's like true. pretty dope. Yeah, that's pretty dope, man. Shout oh, yeah. out, shout out, King C. He's doing for it. sure. Yeah. Shout out, King C. I got one question for you. I was watching this um this prank video you tried to do on your crush. That girl you was doing that prank with. Uh, which one? I forgot what her name is, but she she may tell you to get put that blindfold on. Ah, uh, she, she rock your yeah, shit. Yeah, <laughs> she rock my shit. Well. She, I wouldn't know what was the thought behind it. You know, like after she did what she did, but what was going through your head during that time? I ain't gonna lie, well, I'm thinking we about to do it for real, fam. I'm doing a print. You know how the print one was, um, I think it was a let's let smash print on my yeah. crush. That be about to hit like 700K right now. It's mm-hmm. crazy because at the time, it was not really that doing that much. It was doing, it was doing big numbers. It was doing like 40K, 40K, in like I'll say, and like at the time, you know, I didn't think that was good because I had yeah. so much yeah, exposed yeah. to me, you feel me? So it's like, Oh, I'm thinking of 40k vid, not yeah. big numbers. You feel mm-hmm. me? But at the time, it's like, man, people would wish they had 40k vids yeah, on the vid. Sure. You know? So I ain't gonna lie. Behind that print, bro, when she did that, bro, it caught me by surprise, fam. I'm thinking I'm about to get played. I she got get the condoms. Surprise. She get the condoms. Throw them on the bed. She said, "Put a blindfold on." I'm thinking she about to get real freaky. I got a yeah. hidden camera, fam. Mm-hmm. Boom! She hit me my. She hit me my. In my. In my. In my. <laughs> And my yeah, you feel me in my dick, you feel me? And it was just dead. It was like God. <laughs> it was like dead. That was dead. I did not expect that, but I'm looking at him like, okay, my boyfriend uh, go ahead. That was dead. They be thinking people be thinking your videos are fake or I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> a lot of people think YouTube <laughs> videos are fake, though. I'll be thinking them gold digger shits is fake. <laughs> All along, I'd be like, man, they set this up. This girl been standing there for three hours. How you live, you come back, she right there. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, I'm like, what this random John just yeah, was funny as <laughs> <laughs> Oh, me, I'm like, oh, damn. Shoot. I'm gonna keep real. 
Some of them though, you will catch you will catch them girls slipping though. You'll yeah, no facts, slipping. no big facts. But you know, YouTube entertainment though, people will do yeah. that though. People will do that because you know it's entertainment. People like that laugh though. People will people still watch. Yeah, no, in fact, watch. I be watching that. I be on that bit five hours watching. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, I know it's fake too. And I still be watching. <laughs> you still it. See the end, yeah, I'm now. like, damn, I gotta see how this ends, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you get me? Literally. Yeah, I gotta see how it ends always. But gold digger, like I ain't gonna lie, gold digger pranks. Those those are like. Those are bait for me, but I, I be I be trying to see how those end. Yeah. Especially the night the car be nice. I'm like, nah, I know she gonna, I know she gonna come for yeah, it. She yeah. gonna win. She gonna bite. Yeah, yeah bro. Right. Yeah, that's fun though, man. Um, yeah, you had you had one recently with the I eight, man. Um, what's your dream car? Like, what's like? My dream car right now is a Hellcat. 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 Yeah. Uh, okay. Hellcat. I need, I need a him. Yeah. I, I ain't gonna lie. I was driving the Scat. Oh, where? Yeah, shout out my dog, uh, Darius. I was driving the scat. I feel like everybody should go really just go experience, like, you know, go to a dealership yeah. if you can't drive it. Man, sit in the car you want, but I was driving the scat. I could barely handle a scat, so yeah. I'm kind of scared of a Hellcat <laughs> now, though. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I was about yeah. to wreck the scat, man. Yeah. So I was doing donuts on that video first time, though. You could really do right. donuts mm. easy in the scat, though. Yeah, too much horsepower power already. Yeah. yeah. Donuts real easy. But I was having a scat. But my jean car right now is a Hellcat. But I was having a scat. I'm kind of scared of a Hellcat now, though. But my, you might have to. You, you might gotta get to. used to it, though. That's the thing. Over yeah. time, you get used to the speed. Hell uh, yeah. So okay. That red key for the Hellcat? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Deadly. Dead mm. I want a Hellcat. Red Hell, eye. Hellcat. Hellcat. Okay, you, you got it. You got it in, yeah. in already set. Hellcat. You're going you're gonna to skip. You're going to skip the scat pack. Oh yeah, skip okay. the scat pack. Okay, straight to the Hellcat. Straight to the Hellcat. I might get the scat pack, then I'll get to the Hellcat. Yeah. For real. Okay. If anything. Yeah. So, where do you see yourself in the next three years? In the next three years, I ain't. I really ain't really think that far. Like, I'm so focused on like, I ain't really think about that far ahead because it's like I'm so focused on like, what I learned. It's like. You doing whatever in the present moment is going to dictate what you're going to become in the next three years. Mm -hmm. So I don't really know. I'm just doing all the work I need to do now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Take like... Chill later. I don't even know what I'm become. So I could tell you, but something else ha like something else might happen. Yeah. You know? So it's like... Something I learned, though, is like... Be focused in the present. It's like it's going to dictate, you know, like... What's going to happen the next day, you know? Like the, mm -hmm. the next week, the next, the next year... Yeah, there's there's also the um, on the flip side. I mean, I think there's you 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 might need a, a good healthy dose of um, of uh, manifestation. I mean, I think you you, you still do, um, but how much? Because I know the imagination is a is a part of is a is a good part of of success. Oh yeah, being able to one, to, to one envision thing I, I what's going on. Too, though, um, shout out, bro, Proctor. I ain't really do this for though. He said, write out the life you want. Mm -hmm. Write out the life you are and exactly how you want it. I ain't gonna come. I got that. Yeah. Yeah, he be doing that for sure. Yeah. You do yours every morning and stuff. <laughs> every night. Yeah, write out the life you want. But I, I've been slacking on that for real. Yeah. That. Yeah. All right, man. So how uh, I'll say to just um, conclusively, what can you tell, like, uh, what can you tell a, a, a young cat um, in the in the position that you that you were in, not I, w I wouldn't say high school, but in the position of finding themselves, not knowing, being uncertain. Like, why would you tell somebody like that going through through that sort of thing? Um, would 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 you say uh, the solution, the the ways um, the ways you resolved your own your own uh, problems? Would that would you say that would work for most people or is that something that is only for some people? Um I mean I mean it's really how really like cause you know like people mindset different it's really just like the discipline and really doing it for real. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm glad I did everything happened how it happened. I'm glad I took that break off you two to learn Forex for an exchange cause see what we've been able to create, me and my dog now too. Yeah, you feel me? He a six figure trader, about to be a seven figure trader, and that's it's just like up. that's what's up. Shout and out I was, and I was like, I ain't gonna lie, I I had got him back into it because he was familiar with it, mm -hmm. but it was like he was a youngin too, like what 
16. 16 as well. He got yeah, introduced yeah. to like an auto trader. Mm. And it was like, it was doing it for you. Yeah. So, but when I reintroduced him to it, it's like, at first, at first, I ain't gonna lie. When he first did it, he was ghost for two to three months. Mm-hmm. He was ghost. But here we was trading. It's like, then we making money. It's like, then he hopped back on. Yeah. But then he took it way more seriously than me. I don't know. I think it's the Asian in him or something. <laughs> <laughs> that boy got you a superpower. Boys, he got a superpower. You know yeah. them boys go with numbers, fam. <laughs> yeah. You know them boys go with numbers. He took it way more seriously than me. Yeah. Nah, man. He got his own course. I'm studying his course. <laughs> yeah. I'm studying his course. And yeah. he's been able to create a community where, bro, people learning his course, man. And just, like, being able to see, like, you know, I got crucified for it. I ain't going to lie. Like, yeah. people was bashing me, like, what you doing? But, you know, it's just like, man, I would say to you, like, do what you want. Like, you know, live for experiences. You feel me? Because I'm glad I got to experience all that because, you know, you, you finna go to the grave to experience. Imagine if, like, I ain't take that break. Yeah, for sure. Like, you know, mm-hmm. like, and did all that I did. Like, who would have thought, like, you know, what we're doing right now is just so. I will say live for experiences, man. Live for experiences and really just. Man, F what everybody else think. Like, you got to do what's for you. Like, you got to put yourself. Yeah. I'm going to keep it. You got to put yourself first before, before like, everybody else. Not, not not before God, but before everybody else. You yeah. feel I me? Mean? God, then, yourself before everybody. Mm-hmm. You feel I me? Mean? You got to make sure you feeling right. You got to make sure you on point. You got to make sure, like, everything with you on point. Like, you know? Yeah, you can't lead if you don't have... Um, certain medallions and accomplishments mm. you got you got to be suited to to lead uh, yeah. you know everybody you yeah, like i forgot which song i was listening to and dude was like yeah you got a lot of followers but you're not a leader you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. Like, you could have all these instagram followers you could have all the numbers um but at the end of the day like it, it doesn't make you someone that people want to follow For real. so i think you going through what you go through um and learning the things you do it's something where I could be like, damn, like I'm having financial problems. Like, and I could ask you for advice. Most and you bad. may not know it all, but you give me some. Yeah, you yeah. know, experiences are a good thing in life. Where do you want the YouTube to take you ultimately? What's the end goal for you? Um, uh, I don't know how, um, I don't know how many YouTubers have made YouTube their entire life work. Mm-hmm. I think all of them, I mean, Logan Paul's boxing and shit now. And, yeah, you know, like everybody now. on YouTube is on some other shit. Like most of them are rapping and shit. So, <laughs> you know, like, you, I know you be having the, 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 the boxing matches going up, going on too. Yeah, you just had a recent more, one. There was no cap. Yeah. So, you know, like ultim- ultimately, what's, what's the, um, where does it end for you? I ain't gonna lie. Um, I don't know, but them boys got to a certain point. They yeah, exactly. Doing a, yeah, yeah, word. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? I already didn't have my experience with that a little bit. Yeah. So right now, this the, man, we're on a point where they want a couple, I want to get on Mr. Uh, right now, FaZe Rug, and um, really, FaZe Rug really snapping. He's one, like, he's one of my top fives, top three. Mm-hmm. FaZe Rug's been in the game in a minute. FaZe though. Rug, he really motivated me to really go hard on YouTube yeah, when I was first starting on FaZe Rug. Then after that was Mr. Beast. I want to get on Mr. Beast level. Look what that. You ever see Mr. Beast? Nah. Really I actually, I don't know. He be like, he'll buy a whole car dealership, give away all the cars. Bro. Oh, you know what? I think oh, I know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. always giving, giving out. Always like, giving yeah. out like a meal. You feel me? Yeah. He's smart with it, though. That's that's tax right off. Yeah. Yeah. He's saying what's up. <laughs> and yeah, he's, yeah, he's smart with it, but yeah. he's he hard, but because he's yeah, giving yeah. it charity mm-hmm. and all that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm taking those don't worry, God, I'm coming. <laughs> and boys don't miss a beat, dog. Oh, they know they peep game off real. Sure, dog. Anybody that interesting on learning forex? So you say you learning forex from your boy? Um, oh yeah, and um, IML Master Academy too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. The if y'all want to know about forex, man, hit us up, man. EJ the ITM and Poppy Yang. You already know, man. Let's get it. Mm-hmm. That's the course name right there. That's where we go. Uh, uh, that's the Instagram. That's your Instagram. Oh, that's Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Where, where we go to, to check out the course or anything like that? Um, if you guys are looking at my course, um, go on my page, uh, click my bio, and the course is. It's not a course. It's basically an academy. Mm-hmm. I send out trading ideas as well, um, forex and indices, and it's called Sniper Game Academy. Stop, so, okay, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. So all Floridians need to get on yeah, beat yeah. and get on yeah, the yeah, ASAP. Again, Academy. Facts, yeah, facts, yeah. Facts, facts, facts. Simple yeah. question. I'm gonna just ask it. I'm gonna just ask this question because people are people are scared of forex. Mm-hmm. They don't know what it is. It sounds like you know 
it sounds like something you know like some some sort of scam for certain people um what exactly is forex what are what exactly are we trading for people who who have no idea and have heard this conversations mm. yeah like for for those people like how would you explain to them what forex is to to start and why they should get in even invest in something like that okay so forex is a very liquid market meaning like there's always buying and selling buying and selling um but in forex is is really just like you know you ever been to like other countries yeah like what only one where i came from uh, Haiti. <laughs> Haiti, right? So, IET. Yeah. so you, Haiti got, IET. You, you guys got your own currency, right? Yeah. So let's say I take my US dollar to um, Haiti. I got to exchange mm -hmm. that money. So that's right. Forex. Mm -hmm. Forex means um, Forex exchange currency. Mm -hmm. So you're just buying and selling currencies, and that's basically it. And then you have your phone, download MetaTrader 4, and then you could just... Take a trade, take a trade, take uh, a trade. Yeah, cause, and there. Mm -hmm. um, cause, Cause our banks, our banks be trading our money. That's yeah. how our banks yeah. make money. Well, it's Fargo, Chase, our banks be trading our own money. Like people have money sitting in these savings, just sitting there and they Yeah, it's being bro, paid with all the time. Nothing, bro. Yeah. They ain't yeah. doing nothing for it, bro. The mm -hmm. banks flipping your bread every day. So why every Forex day. and not any any other market? <clears throat> um the Forex exchange market is like it's the biggest market out there. Yeah, yeah, facts. yeah, it's the biggest <laughs> and market. And it's a lot easier for people starting out too. I'll yeah, facts. Mm -hmm. um, the other markets, like I don't like other markets. I like crypto and stocks. I don't. I don't mm -hmm. like stocks. Um, I just yeah. do crypto and forex. And but every market is good. But the forex market is really good because it has like it's easy. You can like, make easy. you can make money Wait, when it's going down. Uh, yeah. yeah, you can you know invest fifty dollars. Yeah. You can mm -hmm. invest fifty dollars. Split that to five hundred thousand. You know what I'm right. saying? You can do that. You can but do that. Yeah. The thing is, like, Kevin. people starts off, they go on YouTube, they get exposed to the wrong information, and exactly. that's when people like think, oh, this shit don't work, it's not for me, mm -hmm. um, and it's a scam. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you're gonna hear that from a lot of people. And, and I'm gonna keep it real too. Why people? Why people scared of it too? Because they've heard a lot of bad names. I'm gonna keep it real. They heard a lot of yeah. bad names about exactly Forex. Right. I'm gonna keep it real. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep it real. Like, you know, they heard about a, bad, a lot of bad names that do. Um, they heard about a lot of bad. Um, bad. Names like um, bad comments about um L MLM too. You yeah, feel yeah, what I mean, yeah, the ones that actually do forex on there too. So that'll make them scared of it too. But I'll say it's really like who you really connect with. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like really connect if you finna actually do something like that. If you got somebody in your, you know, like um, who you follow or you feel me? Like if you like, it's all about who you connect with. Like yeah. actually connect to, to somebody who's doing it for real. Yeah. So you actually like know how to do it for. Real. I yeah, know. I mean, I think um, uh, what I would say to people as well is um, the fear of losing money. That's like oh, the yeah. thing with people, like the fear of, oh, well, I'm going to lose money. Like people, like you have to redefine um, what what losing money is to you because people put their money in different things every day. And I think that's the only uh, concerning part for people is the security in their money. So um, I, I don't know. I would I would say you know what do you have to lose with something like like right. forex? Uh, if if people actually make millions every day, there's new millionaires every day doing it. Uh, might be something. And, and one thing too is um, you can't get greedy when you trade, and that's one thing. Too, <laughs> man. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know that. Remember that one time we was on FaceTime? <laughs> yeah, I be like no more trade. You still went in. Got okay. clapped. <laughs> Yeah, you, can't, yeah. you can't get greedy, bro. You have a good come up, man. Like you gotta have a with trading too. Now you gotta have a goal. Like if you make fifty dollars a day, mm -hmm. like people just gotta break it down for fifty dollars a day, fifteen hundred dollars in a month. Um, because that's thirty days. You mm -hmm. know, thirty days, fifty dollars every thirty days, fifteen hundred dollars. Um, a hundred dollars, but then you start making a hundred dollars, that's three bands. You know. Yeah. So it's like just break it down, have a goal. That's one thing I learned. Just you gotta have a, a goal to when the money you make it. You feel yeah, me? Because right. you'll just be in the markets endless. Like yeah, oh, I make mindlessly. It. Yeah. My, uh, so yeah. So you just gotta have a goal. You actually do it for real. Because it's actually different when you start doing it. You gotta discipline. It's just you know. Yeah. Discipline yourself. All it's I would say. Done. I'm about for cutting you off. All I would say, man, it's a marathon mindset, not a sprint. So you know you don't uh -huh. get wake up and get rich. So everything you gotta put in the work. God. 
Damn. Yeah, that's been tweaking. All right, man. Well, we're going we're going to go ahead and, and, and end it like that, man. I appreciate y'all boys just being on here. Um, I'm sure you guys are like 19, 20. Uh, 19, yeah. Yeah, man. So so y'all doing this year? I turned twenty this year. Though. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Shout out, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all yeah. getting old, uh, but <laughs> you guys are doing it big, man. Huge. So I'm, I'm very inspired, and I know other people who are, are inspired as well. But what you guys are doing, um, it's been a real honor, man. Real pleasure. Appreciate you being on the podcast. Yeah, I appreciate y'all boys having me, y'all boys. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. Changing the youth, the hottest podcast. EJ the GOAT, y'all check them out. 240 plus follow uh subscribers on YouTube, road to 300 k Uh man, no cap, no cap, no cap. We out of here. We call ourselves city, but we global. And everybody that has a voice is allowed to be vocal.